Rabbi Chaim Stern says, there is a grace that every dawn renews, a loveliness making every morning fresh. We will ensure, we will endure, we will prevail, we the children of hope. Children of the one who fills the heavens with stars, endows the earth with glory, and fills the mind with wonder. G'day and shalom everyone. I'm sitting here in wonder at our amazing sanctuary. These incredible windows with a really impressive view now that spring's finally caught on in front of our ark with our sacred, sacred treasures, our Torahs. I've been asked over the 10 weeks that I've been here, 11 weeks that I've been here, will we endure? The short answer is yes. And I've told you some of the things that have been happening. The board's been working very hard over the last three years to be fiscally responsible and get our budget into, into a point where we will continue financially without worry. There's still some, still some way to go on that, but we're working on it. And there is light at the end of that tunnel. But as I sit here and enjoy this gorgeous sanctuary, and it is, but it's not just good looking, it's the feeling. I sit in this chair, which is comfortable, but it's just a chair on its own. Just as the sanctuary is just a room on its own. And yes, rabbis come and go, executive directors come and go, staff come and go. The community endures. Right now, as I record this video for you, as my weekly message, or however, my third, three weekly, tri weekly message, I'm looking out at empty pews because you're not here. A question that was also asked is Damien, how do we fill the pews? How do we sell Beth Torah? You. You sell Beth Torah. You've heard me speak on any number of occasions now, and you've heard me in these messages. You know that I can speak under six foot of cured concrete, but I'm not all of you. And the challenge today is for us to endure, we have to start selling Beth Torah ourselves. I've had a couple of people tell me that communications is not the best thing that we do here. No, we need to work on that. And guess what? You can help me. I'm asking you to partner with me to ensure that Beth Torah does endure. How? I'm sure you know one, two, maybe three Jews who aren't affiliated with synagogues. Invite them to come and experience a service. And if they're not a service person, ask them if they'd like to come to adult ed or to a small group or our barbecue in June and experience what really is a unique feeling in the greater Kansas City Jewish community. I've said before, 90% of the hard work has been done, and it has. But to fill these pews in this beautiful room, full of ruach, full of spirit, and thanks to our director of music, Leslie, often full of beautiful music. I need you to help me. I can't do this alone. And here's the easy way you can. Talk to friends, invite them along, even if they don't wanna to come to a service or an adult ed or a small group, invite them to come and have a chat with me and let me show them the building. Or I'll come to them. I'll have a coffee with them in a nosh somewhere. But I need you to help us endure. I know some of you aren't comfortable with me causing, calling us the cosy living room of the Casey Jewish community. Again, because I'm an Aussie and I don't mind an argument, I'll push back. We're so warm, so comfortable. The sense of fellowship here exists even in this room when there's just me sitting on a chair talking to you as Alex videos me. The sense of purpose and fellowship here is obvious. Won't you please help me just in this one thing? Talk to your friends. Talk to those you know. Invite them to come along. Invite them to experience this amazing institution, 
that has to endure because it's unique, because it's fun and it's warm and it's comfortable and it's made up of people who I have been so thrilled to meet and get to know. So please, why don't you talk to a few people and ask them if they would like to come home to Beth Torah.